is I, Lisa Crenshaw. I don't think I need an introduction. I'm here to talk to you about the Catholic Church. Here we're going to take the components of the crucifixion. We have the two boards, we have the Christ, and we have the crown of thorns. What the two boards represent is the two boards, but well, we'll get into that later. What we're going to do is we're going to take the word Pope, and we're going to take the word Christ, which became the word, which became life. So what we have is we have Pope, and we have the word life. We'll take the P and we'll turn it upside down and it becomes A D. So we have P O D E L I F E. P O D E L I F E becomes P E D O F I L E. It becomes pedophile. So when we combine the word Pope and the word Christ, which is life together, and the Pope represents the Christ, we get the word pedophile. Then we go to land of milk and honey. We take land of, and we take those letters and we say F-O-N-D-A-L spells fondo. So now land of milk and honey becomes fondo, milk, and honey. What we're going to do from honey is we're going to keep the H, the O, the N, the E and the Y. Now, the N from honey crosses out the N from and. This leaves the letter A D. The D turned backwards becomes a B, so we have the letters A and B. The first letter of the alphabet is A, the second letter of the alphabet is B, so A and B becomes 1 and 2. When you combine the number 1 and 2 together, what you get is you get the letter R. You get the number 1 here and the number 2 there. We add the letter R to the word honey, and that gives us the word horny. So now what we have from land of milk and honey is the word fondo, milk, and horny. Milk refers to a baby because a baby drinks milk. So we have fondo, baby, and horny. We take the word resurrection and we switch the letters around and it becomes your erection, but the S is the 19th letter of the alphabet, and 1 plus 9 equals 10. What we do is we take the 0 and we attach it to the 1, and it forms the letter P, and the word sure erection becomes pure erection. So now pure is as like a newborn baby. So now we have pure erection newborn baby, fondle, and horny. Now we take the scarlet from scarlet wool, and scarlet is let scar. Wool, we take the W and turn it upside down, it becomes the letter M. M is the 13th letter of the alphabet. 1 plus 3 equals 4. We turn the 4 upside down. It becomes a letter H. We combine the two O's together from the word wool. This means eyes, two eyes. Two eyes becomes two letter I's. I and I, the Roman numeral I is 1, so 1 is A. The letter I is the ninth letter of the alphabet. The number nine upside down is the le is the number six. The Roman numeral I means one. We subtract the one from six, and the fifth letter of the alphabet is E. So uh, the word wool turns into the word heel. So scarlet wool becomes let scar heel. So when we're talking about a scar, we're talking about a newborn baby. 
and we're talking about circumcision, and we're talking about the foreskin being removed. This leaves um, a wound um, that needs to heal. So there is referring to let scar heal. We take the word hissum, and H upside down is Y. And the letter Y replaces the letter J, because there was no J in the alphabet back then. So we know that H becomes Y, becomes J. We have the J to the ism from hism, and we get the word jism. So now we have let scar heal, we have jism, we have pure election, we have newborn baby, we have fondle and horny. Now, the church, the Catholic church was built on the rock of Peter. The word rock of becomes F-O-C-K-O-R, which is Fokker. It is built on the Fokker Peter. The Fokker, or the Fokker Peter, is the penis. So the Catholic church is built on the Fokker penis. Christ told Peter, you would deny me three times before the cock crows. We take the word deny me, and we take the P, and we take the letter D, and we turn it upside down, it becomes the letter P, so deny is P-E-N-Y, becomes penny. We take the X from three times, and we know X means no. So three times becomes three no's. We take the N from that and we add it to the P-E-N-Y and we get the word penny. So now we have penny 30 S me. So Peter, you will penny 30 S me. Penny means coin. 30 S means 30 silver. So Peter, you will 30 silver me before the cat crows. We know that 30 silver <clears throat> coins refers to Judas and betrayal. So, Peter, you will betray me. You will Judas me before the cat crows.